Adam Booth with Jesse Ziegler with Cycle News. We are out here checking out the Gas Gas Contact Trials bike. It's like a hybrid, but not really. It's a real trials bike with a seat and a big gas tank. Which means you can go riding longer, farther, and relax and sit down. You don't have to stand and burn the quads up. It's nice. The quads are going to burn if you're new to trials. It's going to be really uh, sort of frustrating. So I think that this bike is really cool for a guy that wants to get into trials, is intrigued about trials, but you know, maybe he's a little intimidated about the trials um, skill set. So I think this is a good stepping stone into that. So if you want, you can pull the seat off and you'll have a legit trials bike. This thing runs about $6,000. A couple thousand dollars less than the top of the line 300 that Gas Gas sells. Um, I've had a trials bike in the past. I like riding trials. It's fun. I'm not that great at it. Jesse here on the other hand. I've I'm bad at riding trials, like that's the bottom line. I've done it maybe five times in my whole life, including doing donuts in the parking lot. So um, I think about riding trials and I know it's going to make me a better rider and I know they're the most talented riders in the world with the best clutch and throttle control and maybe that's what intimidates me, but um, I think that this is something that I could see me buying and using in my own time as a training tool and also, you know, to explore a new area of motorcycle. So we just finished up a couple hours, as you saw, riding the Gas Gas Contact 250. Um, we rode a little, we struggled a little, we had a good time, but uh, more importantly, a good time is the major thing here. Yeah, it opens up a whole new level of riding for people that are used to either trying to go fast all the time, or trying to hill climb all the time, or trying to do corners and fastest all the time. Like, this is about just totally trying something new <laughs> and it's a progression. And this is a great first step on that progression. It gets you into the sport, it's unintimidating, and it's super fun. And then pretty soon you and your buddies are one, gonna one up each other. You're gonna go over a log, your buddy's gonna go over two logs, your next buddy's gonna do a rock gap, and then you know you're all gonna be increasing your skills together. And that's that's what we did today. We had one bike we were sharing back and forth. But... And the most important thing is you get off of a couple hours riding one of these, you get on a big bike, those skills transfer over instantly into a big yeah, bike, and sure. all of a sudden your big bike you're using the clutch better, you're finding traction, you're weighting the pegs properly, and the skill building quality of this thing is insane. So look at all the enduro cross guys, hard enduro cross guys, they all have come from trials backgrounds. They, they understand traction, they understand clutch control, and they understand bike balance, and these things really teach that. Yeah, I think what's cool about this bike, the extended range is gonna make it, you know, so you can go on a little bit further journey, so you can just take it on your riding trails and not worry about, you know, getting too far away from the truck. Uh, the seat's obviously great uh, comfort if you get into a spot, you got a dog paddle up a hill. Um, and the other thing is that it um, like totally works like a dirt bike. Like it's not such a strange thing that um, it, it's going to feel weird for you if you're coming off your dirt bike. I think that's a good point. So uh, don't be intimidated by trials. Give it a whirl. Yeah. Check out Gas Gas. So much fun. Thanks. Check out Cycle News. Check out Adam Booth. <laughs> Online, just Google that. Mm-hmm.